All right, guys, welcome to PlayStation News, Rumors and Leaks. Thank you for taking the time out to watch the video. Timestamps are available in the description below if you want to jump straight to the bits that you're interested in. But we're starting off with Stellar Blade. The developers of Stellar Blade, Shift Up, who are reportedly working on a new sci-fi action RPG game, they go on to say that their next game will not be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. Now, several different outlets have reported this same story. I'm taking this from uh, PlayStation Lifestyle. Their article goes on to say, although Shift Up doesn't seem a opposed to the idea of making Stellar Blade 2, their next game is neither a sequel to its PS5 debut or is it a PlayStation 5 platform exclusive. The developer has already begun recruiting for its next project, which job descriptions have revealed for it to be a AAA urban sci-fi action RPG game. Shift up previously teased that they would be open to making a Stellar Blade 2 game, however it would have to depend on the game's performance in terms of the reception received by gamers and the sales performance of the game. Shift up has multiple job vacancies published on its website for the next game which will be built on Unreal Engine and will feature monsters and creatures. The listings mention that the mystery art sci-fi RPG will be a cross-platform game headed to console, PC and mobile. Stellar Blade itself was originally announced as a multi-platform game before Sony stepped in and claimed it as an exclusive game for their platform. In a partnership spearheaded by PlayStation Indies boss Shuheo Yoshida, Shift Up received development and marketing support to release Stellar Blade originally called Project Eve exclusively for the PlayStation 5. Shift Up also recently teased that players have to buy and enjoy Stellar Blade, the game to warrant a sequel. In other words, Stellar Blade 2 depends on the upcoming game's commercial performance and fan response. Judging by the early reception of the demo, I don't think Stellar Blade will have any problems shifting units and would anticipate a Stellar Blade 2 after Shift Up finishes working on their new sci-fi RPG game. Moving right along, encouraging news for Guerrilla Games as Horizon Forbidden West sales see a sharp increase following the game's PC launch. And this is reading from PlayStation Lifestyle. They go on to say, Guerrilla Games Horizon Forbidden West has seen a sharp increase in sales thanks to its PC launch on March 21st. The game was one of the US market's top 10 best-selling games during the week ending March 23rd, which is quite a feat considering Horizon Forbidden West wasn't even in the top 100 the week before. The last official Horizon Forbidden West sales update came in April 2023. Horizon Forbidden West, which released on the PS5 and the PS4 in February 2022, sold over 8.4 million copies, and that was by the end of April 2023. And that's according to an official Sony update. <laughs> Since then, there hasn't been any update. The game went from being outside of the top 100 games, entering the top 10, which indicates that Horizon Forbidden West sold quite well on PC. In June last year, documents leaked during Microsoft's court battle over the Activision Blizzard deal revealed that both Horizon Forbidden West and The Last of Us Part II cost over 200 million dollars to develop. Analysts also go on to estimate that with marketing and retailer cuts accounted for, both games made massive amounts of profits, in fact, in the millions. However, Sony recently indicated that it considers PlayStation Division's profit margins to be somewhat of a problem overall, and it wants to release more exclusive games onto PC, something I think which we are all well aware of. On their single player games, I think once they've had about 12 months on the PS5, I think it'll be fair to say that overall, most of them will be heading onto the PC to capitalize on sales unless they are a multiplayer live service type game like Helldivers where if, if there are those types of games I expect them to come onto PC straight away day and day. I think that's fair to say right? So let's move on to some exciting news for fans of Star Wars. Despite reports of its cancellation and Embracer's $500 million sale, the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake is still alive and well. Reading from Games Radar, they go on to say after years of uncertainty, Saber Interactive's Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake is alive and well according to the company's CEO. In an interview with IGN, Sabre Interactive CEO Matthew Karch gives the briefest of briefest updates on the mysterious title. Even after parent company Embracer Group sold Sabre in a $500 million deal earlier this year, Karch says the game is still in active development. He goes on to say it's clear and obvious that we're working on this. It's been in the press numerous times. What I will say is that the game is alive and well and we're dedicated to making sure we exceed consumer expectations. This is one of the first official words that we've had on the title so far since it's revealed in 2021. Shortly before this, back in December 2023, the boss of Disney Gaming gave new hope for Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake by revealing that there's not a lot I can say for some hopefully obvious reasons, hinting at the fact that the game is still being worked on. Just before this, Bloomberg reporter Jason Schreier 
also gave insight into the situation, sharing that the game was still in the works after multiple sources claimed that the project had been cancelled. There's still a lot to learn about the KOTOR remake, and it's hard to predict exactly when we'll hear more about the game. The only thing we have to go off is the teaser trailer, which we got almost four years ago, which has since been removed from PlayStation and other official YouTube channels due to an expired music license and not the fact game is cancelled. The main thing for me is that KOTOR is still in development and it will be a game that I can play exclusively on the PS5 and I can't wait to play this and learn more about this game over the next few months. Moving on to the PlayStation Showcase rumoured to be taking place this May. This is a reading from VG Charts. Their article goes on to say that Sony President Hiroki Totoki earlier this year revealed PlayStation does not plan to release any new major titles based on existing IP in the next fiscal year which runs from April 2024 to March 2025. However, this does not mean PlayStation will not release any first party games before April 2025 as they could release major titles based on new IP as well as smaller titles like the remaster of Until Dawn. Jeff Grubb on the Game Mess Mornings podcast stated PlayStation does have some smaller first party games planned for 2024 including a new Astro Bot game. That could be Team Asobi's new Astro Bot game. Hopefully we'll get to learn a bit more about that maybe at the PlayStation Showcase. So Grubb this week also claimed that Sony is planning to host a PlayStation Showcase or State of Play sometime in May. He expects the remake of Silent Hill 2 to appear at the Showcase too. He goes on to say, I've heard that there will be a PlayStation something either a State of Play or a Showcase next month in May. So this is probably going to be there as well. I've heard both a Showcase and maybe a State of Play. It seems like it might lean towards a Showcase. It's definitely in that time frame of when they did a Showcase last year. So there's definitely a players to be some kind of movement behind the scenes from Sony with some kind of event being planned next month. And as I mentioned in the video yesterday, with no roadmap of upcoming Sony first party games that we are aware of, now would be a great time to lay on a massive PlayStation Showcase and show us what the second half of the PS5 generation looks like. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you for watching the video and I'll catch you on the next PlayStation News Rumors and Leaks video.